Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Arborea, a world whose fertile lands have been shattered, the creatures have been scared off over to the table. We are patron spirits that are guiding villagers to go on pilgrimage to help regrow the ecosystem, attract creatures back and bring them to that ecosystem. Making the best kind of environment will give you the most regeneration points, most regeneration points wins. I'm playing a two player game today against Little Glass Marty, which I just want to say ahead of time, not really fair, I feel like he's got a bit of a relationship with these creatures already. This is on Kickstarter right now from Alley Cat Games. I'll put a link to the campaign page in the description in the corner of the screen so you can head over there, see what the final thing's going to look like. This is a prototype, but it should give you a really good idea. And you can see how to get your hands on a copy. And there are also ways to support this channel in the description as well. Massive thanks to anyone that can do that. Before we get started, I recommend you turn on the subtitles to the Klingon channel. If I make any mistakes, they'll be corrected there. Thanks, Steve. So this is a worker placement game where rather than placing your workers on spots directly, they get put on these tracks, which then move over the course of the game and you decide when your workers are going to hop off and go to a spot the longer they stay on of course the more lucrative the rewards and you will get all sorts of things from resources to more workers you will attract creatures to the borderlands you can invite them from the borderlands to your ecosystem you can complete these ecosystem cards that want particular resources spending on them to expand that ecosystem different creatures will have different habitats you'll get rewarded the most for at the end of the game you also want to prepare for each season these four symbols represent the four seasons every game they'll have different tiles assigned to them and if you can fulfill their requirements like have as many different creatures as possible in your ecosystem each one could be worth a maximum of eight points but that score is multiplied for every step you have prepared for that season i am blue the first player which is why my spirit counter is on zero marty gets a bit of spirit to start with for being the second player and what we do on a turn is these four steps we will either send a worker on a pilgrimage so place a worker out onto the board or move a track forward one step. You can repeat step one by paying three spirit. You can do the same thing or you can choose something else. Then you can activate up to two of your workers, sending them down these paths and getting rewards. You can activate a third worker by spending some spirit. Then you can complete one of your ecosystem cards. Then you'll generate points for all the resources you made but didn't spend because the resources in this game are shared. So somebody else might get to use them if you don't, but you will earn points for generating them in the first place. And then tracks with your workers on will advance. At the start of the game, the last bit of setup, we were allowed to place a worker on one of the tracks and advance that one step. So one thing that you can do whenever these tracks advance, you can have your worker jump off to one of these worker placement spots. They can jump to the one they ended up on or any one they moved to before that. Uh, as it moved along. We've both decided to stay to get better things. Not not always necessarily better, sometimes it's just different things, like different resources. Like if you want the purple mushrooms on this track, you don't even get them until the fourth spot along. So, whereas if you just want the yellow flowers, you could just grab one of those quite early. Now I've gone on this track because my starting ecosystem card would like pink trees and yellow leaves and this spot gives me either or of those. I'm staying on there for now. My choice is going to be to place a worker. So you're starting workers. You have elders, these big workers. When workers are finished with their work and they come back to your play board, they go back into your supply. So not available again until you do an action that will gain you more. The elders that will always come back to your available supply. The veterans who we don't start with are better at moving the tracks along more. I'm going to pop a worker out. So I'm going to go on the same track again because the two resources I need are at the top and bottom bottom of this track. So they're going to go on a pilgrimage to here. Now there is a season symbol on this space because going on it, I can move down that track one space. So I'll get two points for every different creature I have in my ecosystem to a maximum of eight multiplied by one rather than zero now. And if I keep getting some season points, maybe from gifts, maybe from attracting creatures, wherever you see that symbol, basically, then I can really increase that. But I've got to get some creatures if I want that to be worth any points. Now I could place another worker or move a track along for three spirit. I have zero, but you can go to minus eight spirit. You can potentially lose a ton of points for being in the negative here, but we've got plenty of time to earn it back. The trigger for the end of the game is the sun counter up here. You see that star? It goes on that space for two players. Every time a creature is attracted from the wilds into the borderlands, we will move that tracker down. And when it reaches this spot, we will have two more turns each, including the person who triggered the end of the game. I am going to spend three spirits, actually. One, two, three. And let's do another thing. That is going to be 
advance a track along. I'm going to choose this track. So we push the tiles along one. And now that we've moved, I can choose whether I want my workers to get off or not. This worker is going to jump off on this space because this is going to get me the two pink that I need. And this worker is going to jump off on this space because then I can show you step two, activate two workers. So if we take a closer look at the tracks, you can activate them in any order that you like. It's kind of simple what they're going to do. So this worker is going to slide down this path and generate one pink resource. So we move the top half of this marker up on the track, going to generate another one. So it goes up to two. Then we're going to gain gifts. For every gift marker you have here, you can choose one of the relevant rewards. I don't have any gifts at the moment, so this space just does nothing. Then this means bring your worker back to your board. It's an elder, so it goes back in my available supply. Up top, we're going to attract an antler worm. So I can grab one from the supply, the outlands, and they come into the borderlands at the top here. Now, the very first one to be placed each game will displace a tile, which will give you a particular reward. Later on, you will either gain spirit or points, but the very first one in this case is going to get me to seaweed, to green, so I can slide up on there as well. Now, I'm not actually thinking of spending that. That will earn me some points, but I've potentially helped Marty out a bit there. That is what he needs. I'm just kind of single-mindedly thinking about my ecosystem card for now. Carrying on with the worker, they will then generate my flowers and then come back onto the main board. So that can go up one space. I haven't got another worker to activate. I could spend some spirits to do that, but I'm not going to. Then I can fulfill an ecosystem card. I am going to do that. So my ecosystem card that I started the game with is going to cost two pink. So that's all the pink we have available and one yellow. So we slide those back down. I get the reward on the top, which is three spirit. So I'm back on zero, I'm back on top. And then I need to place this in my ecosystem. We have a starting ecosystem card, it just gets dealt to you. It's the same on both sides. Now the resources that this card wanted me to spend are what's gonna be available on the other side of the card. So two pink and a yellow, there we go. And three spaces are just nothing. Later on, when we get more ecosystem cards, you can choose to get harder and harder to complete ones for more and more rewards and more spaces on those ecosystem cards that will be more helpful, more lucrative to the creatures that you can attract. When I place this down, I can just put it side by side. I can overlap some of a card, not all of it though. I could just overlap it a little bit if I wanted one space to change. If I've already got a creature, the creatures go on these spaces in the middle. I could even overlap a bit of where the creature is, but not all of where the creature is. But I think for now, I am just gonna pop things kind of side by side. Maybe I'll be able to get another set of flowers up top there. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. So we'll see what creatures we can bring. Finally, we need to do some resource accounting. So any resources that weren't spent, so you see the green that I generated, you look at the number of points that I made. So three, six points for those two that I generated. Move up that on the score track and then you move the bottom half up. Now these are resources that anyone can now spend. It just tells us that, you know, up to that point, the points have been earned. So if Marty was to, on his turn, generate some more green, he wouldn't get those six points again. He would just get four points for generating two of them. He can spend them though, by just moving both halves down. And then the final thing, all of the tracks with your workers on them will move one space for every young or elder worker on them, or two spaces for every veteran on them. As it is, I have left nobody out on the board, so I'm not going to benefit from that, unfortunately. But I have made a bit of a head start. And antler worms, the red creature that we have attracted, want to be next to coral, which I have started my ecosystem with. So that's what I am going to be aiming for, to try and get the creature first while it's still there. That's my turn, so we can move over to Little Glass Marty, who's got a similar decision. So his starting card wanted two water, which is a harder resource to get. You have to spend a lot of spirit on the tracks that lead you to the water, and also the seaweed that I've generated for him. He's going to bide his time a little bit more than I did. He is going to place a worker out here and work on the blue season. Now this will reward you for having a lot of Grimsters, the green creatures, and tail cats, the blue creatures. Two points for every one of them that you've got, and oh, I've moved the wrong colour down, haven't I? Marty will now get 
one times the number that he managed to earn for that. It's early days, we're feeling a bit wild with Spirit. Uh, Marty is going to spend three Spirit to do that again, but he is not going to move a track along like I did. He's going to let that happen a bit more naturally, I think. He is going to come up here where creatures and workers can be gained. So step two, he's not going to get to do anything. There is nobody to activate. Step three, he can't complete anything, so maybe wasting his time a little bit. Maybe I'm going to get in there first and spend the seaweed, although looking at it, the cards that are available at least, only the really expensive card there has seaweed on it and it wants you to have four of it plus two purple mushrooms. So it looks like that seaweed isn't going anywhere for now. Step four though, he's not generated anything to get any points out of. He will advance tracks though. This will move one space of having one elder on and this track will move two spaces for having an elder and a young worker on. The tracks have moved. He can decide whether or not he wants to bring his workers off. He is just going to stay on for now. He's going to bide his time a little bit. For me, I have nobody placed, so that's going to have to be my option, unless I want to spend some spirit to do some movement as well. Now, I do like the idea of going on this track and piggybacking off the two movement this track is getting from Marty's workers. Trouble is, at the end of the turn, it would move once from my worker being on there. And then Marty would have the chance for his workers to jump off, benefit from the movement I gave them, and I get nothing. I think what I want most is the creature that I've generated. I also want a new ecosystem card, which involves coming up here. I think I will place here for the red season. So that is for every extra worker that you've got in your supply, three points. And I could spend three spirit, advance it, and then that's just it. I kind of want to hold on to some spirit. Now, I wouldn't mind generating a Grimstra. I'm going to come on this track as well. So that's three spirit for doing two things. Nobody to activate. No ecosystem card to fulfill. No resources generated, but my tracks do move. So this one will just move a space. And this will move one space as well, because there is one of my workers on there. So we can decide, do we want to get off? I think my worker here is going to just get off early. This one, though, I'm going to try and leave on so I can get two creatures. The two creatures I will hopefully generate. Trouble is, by inviting them in, they're there for Marty to take as well. And he is on the same track where he can grab a creature too. Trouble is, his ecosystem doesn't really lend itself to those creatures. So the red creature wants to be next to the red coral. The green creature wants to be next to the yellow flowers. So it works quite well for my starting card. Marty has nobody to place, so his option is definitely going to be to move a track along. I think it's just going to be this water track, so it's going to move one space. When we see this symbol, it means this track's moved along enough. So the furthest along strip on that track goes back to the beginning, facing the same direction it was. I know it doesn't matter for a blank one, but it does for the ones with seasons on. He'll jump off here. In activating workers, this costs four spirit. So unfortunately for him, he's going to be on minus four now, but he does generate two water. He doesn't have any gifts. His worker comes back. Generate two water. That could be worth 11 points. And do you know what? It's an option to complete an ecosystem card. I think it will be much better for him I'm in no position to spend those resources. He is just going to store them. He's not going to complete an ecosystem card this turn. He's going to earn the 11 points for those water resources because water is a wild card. It can be used as anything. Luckily for him, I haven't even gotten a replacement ecosystem card and I'm not getting one anytime soon. Tracks move along. This moves one space and Marty's worker is going to jump off over here. He's going to have to earn some spirit though before anything else happens and there as well. Do I want to jump off? No, I want two creatures, don't I? Does Marty want to jump off? No, he's going to stay on, but he really does need to generate some spirit. He needs to spend six to move this worker to activate it. Hopefully it's going to work out for him though. Okay, my turn. I do need to think about getting some more cards. I'm going to go on this track. Unfortunately, not get any season progression. I don't really want to spend any spirits. Oh, go on then, you've convinced me. I'm not getting any water. One, two, three. Actually, I've put that in the wrong space. I was thinking if I can get a card that wants some green and anything, then I could spend these from under Marty's nose. There's going to be a bit of luck involved in that. This action is refresh the decks. You can either choose, it's an option. You can choose to refresh none of them or all of them though. Discard the top card and the options underneath are revealed. So that is something I could do. And then Marty's resources wouldn't be there. Yeah, I've spent my three. Let's do that. Let's come on. Let's go there. Yeah, I'm not going to move that track or activate that worker yet, which does leave the creatures in a bit of jeopardy. And I'm going to discard the top card of each deck and see if there's something I can do. So three isn't doing it. 
Come on, four. No, that's not possible. <laughs> it was a long shot. It was a bit of a daft gamble. And I think I'm going to stick for now with the easier to complete cards. Let's just take a red one. My next reward, no gifts available. Worker comes back, but goes back to my reserve, not my supply. Am I going to activate this worker? Yes, they can be placed then. So I generate a Grimster. My reward up here is to get a gift on the purple track. So I grab one of my gift cubes and pop it in the one. So when a worker finishes their work, their pilgrimage on one of these purple spots, I can choose any of these rewards. So that becomes a much nicer track for me now. Gain one seaweed. Gifts, haven't got any here. Worker comes back. I am not able to complete an ecosystem card. I get two points for that seaweed and tracks move along. This one moves along one spot. And so this will come back to the beginning and we decide whether to jump off or not. I am going to jump off because I want two creatures, but it's dangerous because Marty can jump off here and take them ahead of me. They're not creatures that are as good for him. Oh, I'm not moving the sun track, am I? Subtitle, subtitle. I only missed it twice so far. Now Marty's going to stay on, but I think he's going to steal those creatures away. He was coming down here to get workers, but I think I've made that too good to pass up. Now I've put another creature on there for him. Oh, actually, you know, he was going to stay on because the next spot gives him a gift. But this gives him the spirit that he needs to be able to afford the water. So I think he is going to jump off at this space. So on his turn, he has to place someone because he can't move a track because nobody's out there. And he does not have the three spirit to be able to do things twice. I think he's going to come down here. It's always attractive when you can move down on one of the season tracks. He's going to do just that. Then activating workers. He's got two raring to go. So we're going to come over here first. Gain two spirit. That's exactly what he needs. Gain a creature. So it's up to him what he wants to take. He is getting two creatures though, so he's just going to grab them both. Getting from the top spot gets you a spirit each. Oh, he could have used that spirit to pay for this. No, it'd be okay. It'd be okay. Happy with what he's done. So the creatures you've got this turn go into this space and they'll be put out into your ecosystem this turn. And then he comes over here. He's going to spend six spirits to be able to take this action. He can put a gift out. Oh, this work is done and goes back to his supply. Where does he want the gift to be? If he puts it here, he could gain it now. Do you know what he's going to? He's going to put a gift out here. If we look at the potential rewards, so he's going to generate two more water, but then gain a gift, another water... Put a creature out, a creature that he actually does want, that he's probably going to use up space. Get another gift somewhere else. Yeah, he's going to start putting more gifts out. He's going to have another gift out. Which track is he going to go on? Top or bottom? I think he's going to go up here. He's going to pop a gift there, ready for when his worker comes off later on. And then this elder comes back. Complete a card. Again, if he waits... He'll earn some points for this water that he's just generated. But then he'll have generated four water. I can just use it on my card. Now, you can only use water as a wild resource if the resource that you actually need is at zero, which in this case is true. So Mars is going to have to spend this water and not earn any points for it. And then he will spend the seaweed. So his reward is one spirit and gain a new ecosystem card. He is going to grab a bit of a tricky one, I think. Well, take a bit more time to complete. And he is going to pop this card out. Yeah, just underneath, I think. So in this step is where we put creatures out as well. So you put creatures out in these spaces. They can't go on the edges. They've got to go in the middle of four spaces. They want to be next to a load of different things. Like this creature wants to be next to the red coral. Marty's got none of that. This creature wants to be next to the yellow flowers. Marty's got none of that. He has only taken these to spite me. Water is good because if your animal is next to water, then it doubles the points that they've got for their normal criteria. So Marty's got an option. Use valuable spaces up for creatures that won't benefit him at all. And there's another rule. You can't put animals orthogonally adjacent. So we can't just stack them up on this card. They're going to have to go on to his you know, useful spaces. Should maybe have waited it out you know, for different creatures that he actually wants. But I can't blame him for wanting to deny me. What he can do is place them in captivity, hopefully temporarily. Every animal you've got here at the end of the game is minus three spirit for you. On the other hand, if you were to place one or more animals that you had gained this turn out into the ecosystem, you can take one of your animals from captivity and also place them. So Marty's going to have to have at least two more instances of putting you know, newly claimed animals out into his ecosystem. But yeah, he's going to save them for later when he's hopefully got ecosystem cards that will help with it. I don't think that he's really gained 
things that will help. Oh yeah, all the flowers here will benefit is um, Groomster. So no resources to reconcile and movement in tracks is one spot there. Time for me to shine. So my worker is just there waiting to collect animals that are no longer present. I've got a horrible feeling he is going to be waiting there a long, long time. Should have just had him leap off and collected one got greedy. Let's work on those animals coming back then. I will progress on the season. I will spend... This is moving Marty though. Let's... Let's not move on the season then. We can go here and just generate the Grimster again and a seaweed. But we're not generating the resources I actually need for this. I want to move all the way along this track so that I can generate the things that I need for my ecosystem. So I've made a mistake. I've got a worker tied up and... It's bad now. Yeah, let's go there and try and benefit from Marty's movement if he stays there. So it will automatically move a space. That gets put back to the beginning. Do I want to jump off? Does Marty want to jump off? I do, but Marty also does. I think he is going to take that water. Oh, no, he's going to rock it ahead. Marty's turn. He's going to have to place a worker. I think he's going to be looking for a new ecosystem card. He's going to be coming up here. He can afford the extra spirit, but he's not going to spend it. He is just going to activate down here. And he is going to gain himself one, two flowers and a gift, which he is going to have as the the trees, the pink trees. And then his worker comes back to his supply. Looking at the resources available now, what does he need for this? A pink that he's just generated. Three yellow. He's just generated two. Third can be a water and a red coral. Isn't there? But again, he can use the water. Doesn't get any points for the things he just generated. But what does he get points for? He will attract a Grimster which actually benefits me a little bit, but also gives him three points. I mean, the first was for the tile, but in the future, they will get you three points for attracting them. On the top row, anyway. A gift at the purple spot. Okay. And two spirit. Not bad at all. And then a new card to pop in his ecosystem. He can't place the creatures because he's got to be placing a creature. He gained this turn at the same time. This is why, by the way, there's so much space at the end of the table. It's all kind of bunched up here because these can potentially get really big. So this is going to help him place the, the Grimster. The Grimster wants to be next to the yellow flowers, doesn't it? I don't necessarily need to be covering anything up right now. I think we'll place it over there off to the side. Okay, moving along on tracks. He is on this track, so he's going to move a longer space. No resources to earn points for, so it's back to me. I haven't got a worker to place or anyone on tracks, so that's bad. <laughs> I've got to I've got to move a track. Uh, let's just move this one then. <laughs> Not benefiting me in any way. <laughs> Hopefully I haven't messed up too much, but the reason I, I would, you know, do take back season, stay on this for another step, but this second step does not generate any animal, does not attract any animal, whereas this space does, and then I can get both of my workers back and hopefully start cooking again. Okay, the antler worm is attracted here and gets me three spirit. One, two, three, so I'll be able to do a couple of things in future turns. I generate one flower, which I'm not going to be able to spend yet. Gifts, not on here. Come back. I have a worker to place again, and up here get two animals a spirit for each of them back on minus one no gifts here you come back and then placing animals reminding you of what they want you want to be next to a load of red coral you are that's worth six points hopefully i could get some water maybe in there in the future i don't know how well i'd have to get water and coral maybe but you know six points even without the water that's okay and a grimster can go here it's not orthogonally adjacent two points for every flower but also in the future every purple creature i get that's on the same row or column as this grimster will make it worth an extra three points so extra incentive and you know this pink flower here is what the the purple creature wants so maybe i was thinking about that when i placed those <laughs> i don't know that i was you know thinking about that if we do a bit of sneaks it would be better to tuck this card under thinking strategy wise because then we have got to get another card to be able to place any creatures now but getting some more pinks at the end of this maybe would be great for getting a purple in the same line as the, the green. That's what I'm thinking anyway. You're not allowed to rearrange, but uh, I'm doing um, playthrough poetic license. Complete an ecosystem card? Sadly not. The water I was hoping would still be there is not. I have generated some resources, so I'll get three points for that flower. And I can't advance any tracks. I'm not anywhere, but I have my workers back now. I'm not stuck and hopefully things can start swinging again. Marty's going to place a worker here. He isn't going to pay spirit to do anything. He's got no one to activate. This track is going to move one two times so this swings in below it is anyone going to jump off now i think they're in fact both going to jump off okay for me i need yellow i need purple that involves this track over here i want more things happening so i'm going to spend three spirits to do some more and place another worker out and i'm going to go out here maybe thinking about 
you know, we could get three up to three coral from here. This card wants three coral. Maybe that's a plan. No workers to activate. We slide along. We slide along. Yeah, two more creatures did get made that I didn't move that star counter for, did I? Uh, I'm catching up, though. Marty cannot place a worker. Has to move a track. So it's not going to be one of the ones that I'm on. It's because these both came off at the, the end last time, didn't they? Should he have stayed on a bit? He's, he might as well have stayed on with this worker. He'll still jump off with that one. No, he won't. He won't have, he won't have jumped off for any of them. He will stay on and move along and now jump off. He just isn't gaining a spirit from here, but he'll gain an extra card, so it'll be okay. So first of all, he is going to go on here, spend four spirit. One, two, three, four. Then he is going to attract a creature. It's a wise owl. The first wise owl will move you up the green season. So that's more points for having a diversity of creatures in your ecosystem. Then generates two water. One, two, and get a gift. The gift Marty is going to choose is get another gift. And he's going to get a gift up here. Now you can increase it so you could choose three different things with each villager that ended up on the gift space. But now he's, he's kind of spreading it all out so he'll always get a gift, hopefully. And then he comes back. And up here is getting activated. So he is going to gain, first of all, the option of refreshing the decks. He's going to do that because he's made that two water. So out on the board right now, there is... A yellow, two green, and two water. He's got a good chance across this of being able to fulfill something, I think. Oh, he's just short of that one right now. That's too many resources because the yellow's there, the two green's there, but the three other resources, there's only two water. So yeah, he's going to refresh the decks, and I think some great stuff's come out there. Specifically, this one right here, he doesn't even have to spend the water as a wild card. He spends it for what it actually wants to be. So he can gain two cards here because of the space that he was on. He likes getting all of this water. Though he's spent up on his, his spirit at the moment. He'll get on with some coral for his red creature later. Bit, it'll be a bit tricky to complete, I think, but it'll be okay. Then get a gift up here. His gift options here. Get a creature. I mean, there's a wise owl. Wise owls want to be next to the purple. He is going to get a wise owl. So that's a spirit. That's actually worked out very well. All planned, of course. No surprise here. So goes out there. His elder comes back. And then complete a card. So he has got from... Some of my work, a lot of my work, actually. There's a yellow. There's two greens. There's one water. He can complete this card. Attract a new wise owl for three spirit and three points. One, two, three. One, two, three. Get a gift on green. Oh, he hasn't got one yet. So a new cube for that. And a spirit. And then this is going to come out. He's going to tuck it under there so that water is going to be present and it's it's going to be possible to do some good stuff i think so he can place his wise owl out the wise owl will score points for being next to the purple the toadstools and it will give you a point for every two gifts that you have placed marty at the moment has placed i think four five gifts at the moment so wise owls are pretty good and another one has been attracted to the borderlands so he will place him there. I know that's one fewer purple, but it's next to water, which doubles the overall creature's score. Since he's placed a creature that he gained this turn, he can choose one creature from captivity and put them out as well. He's put some yellow spaces out, so the Grim Cat would make a good addition there. Again, it's only next to two things, but the water kind of makes up for the one that it's missing. It's like it's next to four things. And in the future, he could maybe replace this space with another yellow, maybe. We'll see how it goes. There is still the matter of a spare water that's been earned. So that will get Marty six points. He's on 23 to 11 right now. And I feel like a better position. Not concrete on that, but I think he's doing a lot better. Tracks move along. He has got no one on tracks. Okay, for me, I can't put anybody out. There is a water available. So if I was to get two flowers, I could complete this. I know it's not as impressive as what Marty's been up to. I don't think the water's going away anytime soon, though. Marty's not got any workers placed. We don't have to panic about it. I want to go up here because I've got the gift, but I'll be earning coral, which is exactly what Marty wants. And the stuff's going to get spent from under me again. Now let's move this track. Just one space. He will jump off. So I will just activate him. Get me two flowers. And I think I'll spend them. Now Marty doesn't need those. I don't have to. Could earn the five points and then spend them next turn. Because I've got nothing to do with it. Yeah, no gift. You come back. I am going to save them and hope I don't regret that. Now, actually, if Marty could gain himself three water very quickly and get that card, it would be amazing. But I don't think he could do that in time for it to be a viable idea. Another two spaces on there. When I've missed two spaces, that's when I realised that I haven't moved that marker along at all. So we're coming up to about halfway, I think. I think Marty is going to think about getting some more workers. 
He wants a payday of those. Is he going to spend spirit? Maybe maybe he just doesn't go for workers and he just keeps up with this water plan. It seems to be working out well. He's going to progress on the season a bit. Does He want, He doesn't really want to spend extra spirit just yet. Oh, I haven't finished my turn, have I? Oh, I earned the points, but I didn't move a track along. There we go. And I'll stay there. Why is he going to go there? He won't spend the extra spirits. And so he moves along one. Nothing else going on there. Now my turn. Where do I want people to be placed now? I want some more workers. And I'm going to spend spirit to move that along and make it happen a bit quicker. Not going to bring anyone off just yet. So no one's going to be activating. Oh, before these move though. Which I feel like I am doing as I'm saying that. I will fulfill this card before this gets taken away from me. So there we go. Two, three things spent. Gain a spirit and gain a new ecosystem card. And this can go out. It's not particularly amazing anyway. If I get another cat, it could go there. Another another Grimster, I do apologise. And getting a new card. Do I want to keep it cheap? It's nice getting a gift out there. I could get another worker there though. No, keep it cheap. Marty, he's going to double up again. He is going to advance on this season once again. He has got a Grimster. Just one Grimster, though, so it's two points times three at the moment. But if he can get more, yeah, he's going to go on that track. He's not going to spend extra spirit to move it more. But at the end of his turn, yeah, he's not fulfilling anything. There's no resources available anywhere. Can't activate anyone, but it will move one, two spaces. Does he want to get off now? No, I think because, same as last time, he, he just repeats this move. <sighs> Is this going to work out well for him? He hasn't got the spirit to be able to put both of them on the water track. He could generate a ton of water. He wouldn't necessarily get another card, though, is the downside of putting them both on the water bit. We'll decide next time. No, he's not going to take them off just yet. Okay, I have no workers, so I need to move a track along. And I think it's, it's going to be this top track. Because the reward I'm going to get here lets me put an extra worker out. And I'm not going to have any if I do this first. So I'm going to do this one first. I will... Bring them off. I want as many workers as possible, of course, but yeah, we've got to be economical a little bit. So I can get myself a youngster, an oldster. Can't get any gifts, and he comes back into my available supply. Can't complete a card. Tracks move along, and he is now going to jump off, I think. Yeah, he's going to jump off there. Marty is just going to move this track along one, and they are both going to jump off on the bottom this could be risky he'll still generate tons of resources though i think it'll be okay so this one's going to come down he is going to pay four spirit he hasn't got enough to activate the second one or has he so he attracts another wise owl which gets him two points and two spirit so now he has got the spirit to spend and two water gift could be another water but it's going to be another gift and it's going to be another gift for here. Worker comes back. This one can activate. Spends four spirit. So now he has got no spirit left. Generates two water. One, two. And then gifts. He can choose two. So put another gift out. I think he's going to bump up the gifts he would gain from here. And he's going to get another water. Generated five water in one go. If only he had that card. Complete an ecosystem card. Yeah, he's going to do that. Oh, he should come back. He is going to complete this. Nothing's available for it, but he can spend four of the water that he just made to get himself. Let's see, a Grimster is attracted, which is three points, which is good, but Marty wants spirit, so he can just keep doing this. Uh, he puts another gift out. He's going to put it up there. That's where he's going to go next, I think. And then one more spirit. He's got something. A new ecosystem is out. There's a lot of wise owls to attract. They want purple, and he can't put them orthogonally adjacent, so I think he's going to build up a bit because it could go there. And then these reds are maybe a good place for his antworm to go. Yeah, that's the ecosystem done. Still get six points for the spare water. So I'm 34 to 16 right now. No tracks move and it's my turn. I can only do one thing. I've got the spirit to do two. There are a lot of creatures out there though. Let's get up here. Let's use my veteran because my veteran moves the track along two spaces at a time rather than just one. Place there and I will get on this season, which is two points for every water space. So not as good for me. Great for Marty. He's already got six out of the eight possible points for that as it is. He wants to get along that track, I think. But he seems to be chugging along nicely just sticking to this one track. So activating workers. This one's already waiting on a spot. So I will attract a mush frog. Move the sun. You can always count the animals that have come out to make sure you We've uh, moved the sun enough times, and I'm just going to make sure I've done that right now. No, one more space. Nearly. It is really coming along, isn't it? If Marty gets loads of wise owls, though, and they go, like, next to water and stuff... I mean, they're not like gremlins, they're not going to turn into anything. But all doubling the points, I have to snatch them away or panic or something. I, I do get to place a worker. That's my reward for getting the first mush frog. And I think I'm going to go out over here. If Marty's going to be keeping up his trick and moving along a lot, Maybe I can benefit from that, getting in there first. So we're still activating workers. That was just attracting a creature, wasn't it? Then I am earning three coral. One, two, three. 
Not that I need that. Uh, I do have a gift, so I can gain two spirit seaweed or get a new ecosystem card. It's my elder, so I can't unfortunately choose the bottom option and get a veteran. I think the seaweed, I do need that, don't I? I can't guarantee it's still going to be there when it comes to a time of spending things. Yeah, one seaweed, one water. But there's a water, isn't there? If only I could generate both things. If I could generate the seaweed and get the card, I would have coral seaweed water available and I could just complete that. Unfortunately, I've only got myself one gift. Yeah, I'll get the seaweed for now. So that's my gift. You come back and then there are no more worker activations. I can't complete a card, but I am going to gain three, six, eight, eleven points. It looks a bit better now, 34 to 27, but there are a lot of resources in the air for Marty to maybe gain. Moving along the tracks, one, two, because that's a veteran, and one, because that's not. Marty, feeling like his plan's been rumbled a little bit. He does want to just get creatures, but he can get creatures from the gifts up here. He gets all three gifts from being up here. He's going to go on that track. He's not going to spend more spirits to do more things. So at the end of the turn, this track moves a space, and normally this can be done just at the same time. But you can make it be done in the order of the villagers, so closest to the centre of the board first. Because it's making a difference to whether Marty's going to jump off or not. Am I going to? What am I here for? I was just piggybacking, wasn't I? I've got no particular reason I want to be up here. I can't even really spend spirit. I think I am going to jump off. Which means Marty is going to jump off. He would have, if I'd have stayed on, it would mean he would move an extra space next time at the end of my turn, or in the middle of my turn if I chose this track to move, which would mean he would have been on the gain a spirit space, which is what he wants. He wants spirit. As it is, he's just going to jump off them because he wants an ecosystem card to be able to do things with. I mean, there's resources burning to be spent here, and it's my turn. I do want to move up there and get two creatures. I'm going to wait on there. I want purple to be generated, so I'm going to come over here. Yeah, can't pay to do an extra thing, so you move once... You move twice. Is he going to jump off? If he stays on, he could put a gift out. If he doesn't, he could get two spirit. Stay on and I'll move that track next time. Oh, I can activate. I'm activating a worker though. I've moved the tracks prematurely. Uh, I'm going to do this. Gain a spirit. Refresh the decks. Why am I up here? I just wanted to piggyback, didn't I? I'm not sure why I'm desperate to gain these cards and get gifts that I can't do anything with. Oh, because if I get this... Yeah, I'm only gaining one card. I don't want to refresh them because you've got to refresh all the decks or none of them. And I know this is okay. So I'm just going to gain a card. Can't have any gifts from here. Bring your worker back. Because this card right here, I can spend a coral, a seaweed. There's no pink, but there is a water to complete this card straight away. Pop a gift out on yellow. So in future, I will be able to get an extra thing from there and get a spirit. So now I could potentially do two things at the start of a turn. And... I've got some more spaces. Should I ever be able to attract another creature here? So you go there. Make it better for attracting a purple. Who is out there? Marty's going to try and snag that, though. Marty has nobody out there, so he might as well place someone. Now, if Marty goes here, he will just move this at the end of his turn. Put me on the last space, and you have to get off at the last space. You can't just stay on. And then he wouldn't benefit from my Elder's two movements. It's too late for that. He's just going to go on this track and try and earn some more stuff and get ready for his water trick in a bit. So it's a great trick, but it takes a, a while to set up, and these are the only two workers he's got to, to do anything with. So activating workers, he can refresh all of the decks and then get one card. He's not going to refresh the decks. He is just going to grab this card here. Yeah. It'll all be okay. And then gifts. This is an elder, so he can't choose the bottom one. So he basically can choose all of the other gifts. So two spirits. Attract a spider ant. Oh, the first spider ant. This is a reward for the red season, which is the one that wants you to have a load of workers. Not good for Marty, but you, know, you might get one. Some points is better than nothing. And also get a creature, I think. Oh, he can see that purple would be good for me as well. So he's tempted to take that away. But the wise owl is worth more spirit. He's going to take the wise owl. But one, two spirits. So to be able to do his water stuff. Uh, and that wise owl is going to go. Ooh. It was just going to go out here where there's some lovely purple. But for now, he's just going to go out there. Still doubles the points he's getting for gifts because this space is kind of reserved for getting his antler worm out of captivity and next to some lovely reds that it wants to be next to. Worker comes back. I think that's a pretty good turn. This track moves a long one. No resources made or spent. And it's back to me. Plenty of workers. I did just want to move this track along, didn't I? To grab some creatures. Not a seaweed anymore, though. I'm going to go on this track. Place. Not spending spirit to do a, a second thing. Just cancel the rest of the turn. So you move one space. You move one space. You move two spaces, but it doesn't matter because you can only have one more. I do want to grab all of these creatures, but I would also quite like, next time, another veteran, two more veterans, and a normal, 
and place someone out rather than get the creatures who would help you for the future. That ant didn't move the sun counter. I don't think we should wait. Go out. That would give me workers for ever though. No, that's what we're doing. Okay, that's the end of my turn. Marty has almost got enough spirit for his water trick. He's going to go there, move down on the blue season again. He wants green and blues to get the most points for those because he's got a really good multiplier on them. He is not going to spend spirit to move a second time though. So that will move one, two spaces because he's got two workers on there. Unfortunately, I couldn't get ahead of him this time. Is he going to jump any of them off? No, he's going to move that track next time, and that's when they'll all jump off. I need to make sure I'm kind of on that track to benefit from the thing I know he's just going to keep doing. Okay, do I want to place a worker? Do I want to just move a track? Place a worker. Go down the green. Yeah, am I not spending spirit? I do want to spend spirit to move someone again. I'm going to spend three spirit to move that track. They're not jumping off yet, though. Okay, over here. Put a gift out. Let's have a gift on the thing I'm about to receive a gift for. Uh, then get two creatures. Who do I want? Oh, purples want to go next to the green. They're coming off the top row, so get me one spirit. They want to be next to the green animals or in the same row or column as them. And they want to be next to pink flowers. So that's where they're going. I know I don't necessarily have to put them out right this second, but <laughs> so I don't forget where they're going. Now the, the ant, yeah. Just wants to be next to different things. I'm a bit limited where I can place anyone because you can't place the animals orthogonally adjacent and they've got to be in spaces with things. I think there is three different things already. If we just get another card here to make this space something different, that's the maximum eight. And if it's water, all the better. I know I don't, I'm not really taking cards with water on a mama. So I don't really generate it, but maybe I can piggyback off Marty generating it. So yeah, none of my creatures are doubled and most of Marty's are. Okay, gift. I could, I could get a worker. I could just get a purple, but I'm about to get more from just the spaces activating, I think. So I'm not as excited by that. Place a worker out. I don't have any available at the moment. It is a veteran though, so I could choose that bottom season reward. But it's get points for having a load of workers spare. There's still time to get workers, isn't there? Yeah, let's move down on that season. There's time. We can do it. Okay, and you come back, but you go back into my reserve, not my supply, sadly. Tracks moving. One, two. And so you have to get off. You're going at the top and I think you are going to stay on. You move along one and you're going to stay on as well. No resources made and that's just that. Marty moves one and he is going to yeah just get off on these two spaces again. He's going to spend four spirits. Oh no he can't do both right now. Do you know what then? This one's going to get off at the top. His plan's not going to be stopped. He spends four spirits. So yeah even earning two from putting the wise owl out. He's going to be one short, sadly. Oh, he could put another wise owl out. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He can do this. Stick with the plan. So he's going to put a wise owl out. That gets him two spirits and two points. Generate two water and get two gifts. One gift is going to be to put another gift out. And the other is going to be to put another wise owl out. Oh, but then Marty won't be able to do that. But it, yeah, he needs to put the wise owl out. Yeah, there's only space for three to be out at once. Yeah, he needs to go up on the top one, I think. Uh, It'd be, it'd be better for later, if there is a later. So another wise owl got put out, and then, yeah, he'll choose another water as his gift. And then up top, he can refresh the display, but he's not going to because he knows this one can be paid for. So he's just going to grab this card, he can grab another one, and then he wouldn't have to later. What if he can just get loads of water next time? He can get six things, can't he? From all those gifts, he's going to go for a really expensive one. And then get gifts from here, it's all three. So it is, get another ant out, which is three points three spirit sun moves again only two more spots gets two spirit <laughs> you can afford to do the water thing now and get a creature oh what creature's gonna benefit him then oh he can have a wise owl that's another two spirit so he could potentially do two things in a round next time yeah they're not orthogonally adjacent and it's next to some purples get some water later he's laughing yeah there brilliant all sorted and lovely cards building up and not getting done time advancing on us but we are nearly there i think and he's not finished yet so completing a card he can complete this i think was the goal so spend a red that i made and then a water and two wild cards so he's not going to earn all the points from that water but he's going to get himself a worker potentially for scoring for this later a gift on yellow that he can't actually gain yeah too late for that and a spirit he just wanted something to complete i think and it's going to have water on it which is going to work out very well for enhancing the points of cards. It's not on the edge, though, which is a bit of a shame. He's going to place it like this, make this a great space for a purple to be later. But he does want the purples to line up with his greens. No, it'd be fine, it'd be fine. Do that. And then moving on tracks, can't. He spent all the resources, so that's that. Me, I want to move a track. I'm going to move this track. 
and go up here and then activating workers we are going to generate ourselves a wise owl two points two spirit two purple a yellow i need seaweed don't i okay we are not moving this one we are moving this one so i can get the seaweed and get this done and get the gift yeah, we'll go up there and generate a cat and a man. I do apologize. Back to you. Uh, get a gift. No, come back. Oh, you were finished anyway. Okay, generate. I think this is triggering the end of the game because I haven't just moved that, have I? Yeah, this is going to generate another Grim Snarl for two points. And I take these stars. At the end of my next two turns, I discard one of these when I've discarded the second one. That's signifies that we've had the last turn of the game. So we've essentially got two more turns each after I finish this one. I get myself Coral Coral and a single gift, which is going to be a seaweed. Oh, I did want another card, didn't I? So I could keep things going. But we'll just complete this. I'll get a seaweed and then spending two purple. Yeah, Marty will spend whatever I leave, I think. I don't know if he will next turn because he won't have the people out, will he? But just to be sure, to be sure. I'll get this. So I've got a gift going up on red a bit late and a spirit. I'm hoping to get myself up to the 20 points. I don't know if there's time enough to do that. Let's see. This could make a lovely spot for a wise owl i mean some water would be nice wouldn't it as well but i don't know if we're gonna be able to do that we've generated a lot of things though one card has been completed i'm getting three six eight points so suddenly jumped ahead a little bit and i'm gonna get one more turn aren't i because I was, I was the start player but i've ended the game totally meant to do it that way and marty he's got two turns i think he can get at least another card completed he's gonna go on there and he's going to spend three. Oh, three would just move it along though, wouldn't it? Next time if he does that, this track moves as well. Don't forget that. Yeah, if you spend an extra one, the track just moves a space. And I don't think that particularly helps him. He could put another worker out somewhere else. No, he'll just pop that worker out for now, I think. You move along. And that's his turn. For me, so I've got two turns. Maybe getting animals is just going to be the best thing to do. I have got space for him. They're not going to be worth a ton of points. And we can also get workers from here. And moving on the red season will help with that. Maybe that's what we do. Should he have jumped off last time? No, it'll be fine. So move one. He has to jump off. Move one. He's not going to jump off. Yeah, I think I'll just put both of my workers on there next time. Move them twice. We'll see, see how that goes. Marty is putting a worker there and spending one, two, three to move them. Oh, he can't generate six water, can he? He might have messed up here because they can't move enough if he had spent three last time to move can he afford no because he'll only earn one and one from putting the owl out so he won't afford to get a ton of this water so we won't do that take back see i think he's gonna have to go up again to get a card that can be completed with just there's only gonna be two water coming out there is red available and yellow so actually that could be completed couldn't it yeah that's what he's gonna do so they're both gonna jump off you there you there so down here this costs four spirit one two three four he generates an ant for two and two one two one two one water and then gifts he gets a water and an owl for one and one and another gift can go somewhere it will help for his owls he's got three owls what a party three owls and that's that and then up here he can have he can refresh the display but that's a risk that he probably shouldn't take i think he's just going to grab this one because he knows he can complete it i mean quite enough time left for him i think because yeah i should have discarded this because i get one more turn and then that's it so yeah he'll grab that gifts he can have them all so another ant goes out or does he want to take if he's taking an ant he could get more rewards i think the owl's better though just because the number of gifts that he's got how many gifts has he got out six seven nine ten divided by two that's five points for each owl if there was a purple it'd want to go next to all these pinks and the water unfortunately he didn't get that creature out though well the ant wants to be next to different things and there's water is one of the things so it'll double it there we go because rock is a thing still uh, to the ant anyway so generating an ant will now get him two and two instead of one and one and he's in positive spirit somehow and then gain two spirits from all of this water stuff and then bring his worker back. And he has got a spare worker for the end of the game now. Okay, for me, we do not want to place... We either want to do both or I don't want to place a worker. If I place a worker, I can get... I've got no gifts down here, so it's like a single worker. It is worth... I've got times three on this, though. I need spare workers, don't I? He could jump down instead of getting your creatures. Is it going to be worth it? Oh, Marcy should also have had two spirit for gaining that ant, shouldn't he? 
I'm going to get a creature. Yeah, we'll go there and we'll spend three. And hopefully this makes up for the minus five extra points I've just caused myself by moving that along. So they can both jump off because you will go up there and at least get me one spirit back. And you can go there and you just get... I've got no gifts, so you just get me a worker. So that is worth two points times three. So yeah, it's, it's paid for that, even if I stay in that area, which hopefully I'm not going to. I wish I could move it an extra time. I gain one spirit and then I can have an animal and a gift, which can be another worker, actually. So an animal, what's going to get me the most points? I've got no water to be seen. Purple is the owl. I have got some gifts, so an owl will help me out. And it's coming from the bottom row, so it'll get me three spirit. Not quite enough to pop me out of the minus five. I don't think I can get a spirit from anywhere now, though, because the gifts up here are... A purple resource would be worth four points. Oh, Marty didn't spend stuff, did he? Skipping the end of Marty's turn, because... He just did that track, but he should have spent one, two, three yellow and a red to get himself. Oh, he would generate this for another spirit and point and get a gift out here and get a spirit. He's nearly in the 20. <laughs> He's been spending it like mad. Uh, would that cha have changed his mind about the animal to take? Who wants to be next to this? Greens? No, I think he'll, he'll stick with his plan. But yeah, an ecosystem did get completed. I forgot to do that bit for him. Apologies for jamming that in there. So yeah, I had the owl, didn't I? I've had three spirit and the gift now. So a purple would get me four points. Another worker, though, would get me two times three, six points. So that's better. Placing a worker could get me a season. It's the yellow season, though, which rewards me having water, and I never ended up getting any. So I think, yeah, the worker is the clear choice. Worker is the gift. You come back down there, and we are done. Final scoring. First of all, minus three points for every animal you have kept in captivity at the end of the game. That is none. Your spirit, Marty, is gaining 10 points. So he's on 55. Scoreboard's a little weird in my prototype. It's got hundreds instead of 50s. I unfortunately lose five then seasons the first season i'm not even eligible for i'm on time zero so it is the number of green or blue animals that you have marty's got one green so two points for each of them to a maximum of eight multiplied by four so marty's got eight points there green season is two points for every different animal to a maximum of eight points so four different animals i've got four different animals marty has just about got four different animals it's a maximum of eight each times two is 16. So Marty's on 79, I am on 56. Two points for every water. Great for Marty, but he never actually managed to get there. I have got times one on it, but I never got any water. So that's a big fat zero for both of us there. And then extra workers. Marty has a single extra worker. Three points for each of those to a maximum of eight. Three points times one is three for Marty. For me, I have two extra workers, so six points times three, so 18. So it's that 82 to 74, a little bit closer. That's the seasons done. So now we have the animals and this is where I think Marty is just going to scream into the lead here. So the mush frogs, it's three points for every adjacent tree. Marty doesn't have any. I have got three, six, nine points for my mush frog. Hey, I'm in the lead. Let's not do any others. The antler worms, three points for each sponge. So three, six, nine for mine. Three, six for Marty's. I've increased the lead. The Grimsters score two points for each flower, plus three points for each mush frog that they can see that's on their path. You know, same row or column. So mine is worth two, four, six plus three for that mush frog. So that is nine again. So on 101. Marty's has only got two four, but it is doubled to eight. So 101 to 96 right now. Nobody got themselves a tail cat, unfortunately. A tail cat actually never even made it into the borderlands. That's a shame. Uh, next up, the spider ants. Two points for each different adjacent habitat. So over here, my spider ant can see one, two, three different things. It's going to get me six points. Marty's, on the other hand, can see four different things. So that's the maximum of eight. One of them is water. Water doubles whatever that animal would otherwise score. So that is 16 points, the maximum for a fire ant, isn't it? And just like that, he's in the lead. And I think that the wise owls are only going to extend that. The wise owls, two points for every mushroom, plus a point for every two gifts that you have. So my wise owl is worth two, four, six points for the mushrooms. And then gifts, I have got one, two, three, four 
divided by two is another two points. No water present. So that is my final score, 115. So can Marty earn three points? from these three wise owls. I think he can. So final gifts, he's got three, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. So that's still just five points. Just. So up here we've got two, four, plus the five points for gifts. That's going to be nine. This is also nine, but it's doubled because of the water. So 18. And this one here gets nothing for the mushrooms, still gets the five points for the gifts, doubled to 10. So our final score, Marty has 149 to my poultry, 115. So Marty there, clearly a much better spirit, guided his villagers much better, got a bit single-minded about the water, but hey, you can't deny the benefits that it's had for everyone. Look how happy all those lovely animals are there. We tried to do a bit of everything down here and didn't quite get it to gel. Maybe early on getting greedy with those animals and then getting them taken away was just uh, the forecast for disaster never quite recovered there we go though that is arborea it is on kickstarter right now the link to the campaign page is in the description you can see how to make it happen what the final version will have if you'd like to know what i think about the game then my first impressions will be linked as well somewhere there are hundreds of other playthroughs on this channel that you can check out if you'd like to see some more games for now though thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next one bye everyone mm -hmm.